Hello viewers, welcome to my channel ITJ Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish. And uh, some of the students have been asking me whether or not entropy is there in uh, JE Advanced uh, 2023 syllabus. So my answer is uh, it's not there, but it's there. So what I mean by that, so I'll just like to show you the syllabus, official syllabus, and I'll also let you know the historical event that has happened. That's uh, that's why I'm giving that strange kind of answer. So let me show you the syllabus first of all. If you see the syllabus, thermal physics syllabus, what does it say? Uh, especially regard, I mean, uh, very near to second law of thermodynamics, if you see. Reversible and irreversible processes, Carnot engine and its efficiency, black body radiation, absorptive and emissive powers, uh, that's uh, heat transfer, but uh, that's all. I mean, related to second law, if you see, it's just second law of thermodynamics, reversible and irreversible processes, Carnot engine and its efficiency. But then, uh, what exactly is second law of thermodynamics? It's uh, It depends. I mean, you can al always define it in terms of entropy and uh, uh, it's always been like this for J.E. Main and let me tell you that in J.E. Main a question on entropy has been asked in past uh, just even though the, it was a similar language in the syllabus that was written. Apart from that uh, one of uh, my subscribers also mentioned in a comment that uh, one of the questions that I shared on entropy yesterday has also featured in a practice test by NTA Abhyas. So uh, of course NTA Abhyas is for uh, J.E. Main but then uh, what else can they ask in second law of thermodynamics in JE Advanced? So I am I have a gut feeling that um, uh, students must be ready with the concept of entropy and they should study it in some depth because it will help them not only in physics but also definitely in chemistry. In chemistry syllabus of course it's explicitly written. Let me show you the chemistry syllabus also. Uh, in chemistry if you look at uh, the thermodynamics, uh, let me see where's thermodynamics i hope i didn't miss it uh, just a sec okay let me see if i get to thermodynamics where's thermodynamics I'll gains. Uh, i think i missed it somewhere chemical kinetics and equilibrium okay yeah yeah here if you see uh, here it's uh, clearly written if you see the thermodynamics part you can see here uh, Hess law enthalpy of reaction fusion and vaporization lattice enthalpy second law of thermodynamics and entropy so entropy is very clearly mentioned in uh, thermodynamics uh, chem chemistry thermodynamics so students should be prepared for uh, entropy and i'm expecting that in physics also there would be some nice questions based on entropy now coming to our today's challenge okay so let's see, uh, this is a problem from survey and debate uh, university physics. So here's the question, a two liter container has a center partition that divides into two equal parts as shown in figure 22.49. So same question number I've taken from the book. The left side contains 0 0.0440 mole of hydrogen gas and the right side contains 0 0.440 mole of oxygen gas. Both gases are at room temperature and atmospheric pressure. The partition is removed and the gases are allowed to mix. What is the entropy increase of the system? So that's our question. If you want, you can give it a try. I'll get into my analysis and I'm also going to present to you the rigorous proof uh, uh, based on statistical mechanics uh, of the mole fraction formula that you might have studied in chemistry. Uh, how you get uh, that formula. So let's see. So what's my solution step? First. Uh, I'll der derive a formula for entropy change in free expansion of an ideal gas using statistical approach and I'll also I had also done a video based on uh, the statistical approach uh, I, uh, I had given a solution to one of the KVPY problems based on entropy so I'll also be posting the link to that problem in the description description box and then uh, after I derive the formula for entropy change uh, uh, in free expansion for a single gas I'll uh, I'll model the mixing of gases as free expansion of two, superposition of free expansion of two gases and that I'll use for finding the entropy of mixing, okay. Now in one of my earlier videos I had given the statistical definition of entropy as S is equal to K log omega, that's Boltzmann's definition of entropy in the same video that I'll give in the description box. Here omega is what? Omega is the number of microstates corresponding to a given macrostate. So just a little recap in this video, what's a microstate? 
suppose you have certain number of particles at certain total volume and certain temperature so or certain total energy so you have uh, the state is described by the number of particles and the total energy now corresponding to the number of particles and total energy and total volume the particles can be arranged in so many different ways and every way of arranging that energy for example you have 1000 joule of energy to be distributed in let us say 500 particles uh, and uh, to be spatially distributed in let us say 1 liter so uh, you can give some energy to the first particle some energy to the second particle and so on and you can arrange them first particle somewhere in space second particle in another place in space so you can create the space part uh, space uh, permutations as well as the energy permutations okay so uh, once you have all those permutations so you take the log of number of permutations and you multiply it by boltzmann constant and that gives you the entropy okay and if you look at this formula then uh, uh, since omega is the number of permutations so delta s will be what k log omega final minus k log omega initial and that is basically the ratio in the log term if you see log a minus log b is log a upon log b so delta s will be dependent on the ratio of permutations in the final state uh, and ratio of permute uh, to the ratio of permutations in the initial state and the log of that right so we are interested in to find delta s we are interested in finding the ratio of number of permutations to the initial and final state okay so now let capital n be the number of particles confined to a volume v naught okay so we are just uh, trying to find out the formula for entropy okay change in entropy so let us say we have total capital n number of particles confined to a volume v naught let us say this volume is v naught okay and we remove the partition so that whole thing expands to a total volume of capital v okay new volume capital v now if each molecules occupies a space let us say uh, small v here i wanted to write small v i missed it up uh, pretty tired okay so let us say each molecule occupies a space v and the number of uh, so the number of uh, ways of permuting the gas in the initial state will be what so if each molecule occupies space cap uh, small v then the number of placeholders we have here since to, the volume here is v naught so total number of placeholders becomes capital v naught divided by small v this is the number of placeholders so what is the number of uh, ways i can place my first particle so for first particle i have the number of places as v naught by v and for the second particle i have v naught by v minus 1 but then since v naught is much much larger than small v so i i need not multiply it by v naught by v minus 1 practice for practical purpose it is still v naught by v okay and anyway i'm going to take log so don't worry that uh, i should have multiplied by uh, uh, v naught by uh, v minus 1 so for every particle we can say for practical purpose every particle has v naught by v number of places so v naught by v into v naught by v into v naught by v is the total number of space permutations possible for particles okay so uh, i'm doing it the an analysis in abstract way so uh, so this is the number of so this will be what so if i have capital n number of particles for each particle we have v naught by v number of places so the um, fugacity of the gas or the number of microstates for the first uh, uh, space configuration is v naught by v whole to the power n see I, I hope you got this formula so v naught by v for the first particle similarly v naught by v for the second particle similarly v naught by v for the third particle and so on don't think that we have to subtract a minus one and minus two because we are going to take a log and approximately we are going to get correct value okay so this is the total number of ways of arranging the particle spatially in the first case now suppose the whole gas expands into the entire region and let's say final total volume is capital v what is the total number of uh, placeholders now i have capital v by small v number of placeholders and so number of uh, spatial arrangements that i can have is now capital v by small v whole to the power n by the same logic okay and now according to the boltzmann definition of entropy we just need to subtract the final entropy and initial entropy so k log omega final min minus k log omega initial this becomes k log omega final upon omega initial right and you just now substitute omega final and omega initial so you see small v cancels off and uh, this is the ratio of permutations that you get and please note that i did not take the velocity or the speed or energy permutations why because if you expansion is happening at constant temperature total energy initially and finally is same and number of particle is same so when you take the ratio of permutations all that matters is the space permutations and not the energy permutations right so this is the ratio of permutations of the final state to the initial state and you take the log of this and multiply by boltzmann constant that's the change in entropy so this becomes what k 
के एल एन ऑफ वी बाई वी नॉट होल्ड टू द पावर एन यू सी ओमेगा फाइनल ओमेगा इनिशियल यू सब्सिट्यूट एंड यू टेक एन आउट साइड सो दिस बिकम्स के टाइम्स एन टाइम्स एल एन ऑफ वी बाई वी नॉट ओके नाउ के इज बोल्डमैन कॉन्स्टेंट एन इज नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स एंड यू नो दैट बोल्डमैन कॉन्स्टेंट टाइम्स नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स इज सेम एज गैस कॉन्स्टेंट टाइम्स नंबर ऑफ मोल्स सो चेंज इन एंट्रोपी सिंपली एन आर लॉग ऑफ फाइनल वॉल्यूम डिवाइडेड बाई इनिशियल वॉल्यूम इफ यू आर एक्सपैंडिंग अ गैस एट कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर दिस इज द चेंज इन एंट्रोपी ओके सो वंस दिस इज क्लियर नाउ आई कैन अप्लाई दिस टू द करेंट सिचुएशन ओके सो नाउ लेट एस यू सुपर पोजिशन टू फाइंड द एंट्रोपी ऑफ मिक्सिंग एट कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेशर ओके सो लेट से हेयर वी हैव एन ए नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स एंड वी ए वॉल्यूम फॉर वन गैस एट सम प्रेशर एंड हेयर वी हैव एन बी नंबर ऑफ मोल्स एंड वी बी वॉल्यूम at the same temperature and same uh, pressure of another gas b okay and now if i remove the partition what happens you see uh, this uh, these red particles they can expand into full volume va plus vb and similarly these blue particles also they can expand to full volume of va plus vb okay so accordingly just if you consider the entropy change of the red particles that will be delta s a is na into r log of vb plus va that's the final volume Divided by V A, so this is the entropy change of particles of A according to this formula that we just now derived. So it's like free expansion of the red gas happening. Okay. Similarly, for the blue gas, what will be the final uh, the uh, entropy change? So initial volume is V B and final volume is V A plus V B and number of particles is N B. Okay. So delta S for B is N B into R into log of V A plus V B upon V B. Okay. By the same logic, final volume upon initial volume, right? So now uh, I can just find the total entropy change by adding equations six and seven. So this is what you get: N A R log of V A plus V B upon V A plus uh, N B R log of V A plus V B upon V B. Now you also know that P V is equal to N R T. So at constant pressure and constant temperature, you know that volume is directly proportional to the number of moles. Okay. So uh, from this formula, volume is proportional to number of moles. So instead of V A plus V B upon V I, I could as well write. Na 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 plus plus Nb Nb upon upon Similarly here Na plus Nb upon Nb. and that I can relate to the mole fraction, right? Okay. So let's see what what do we get there? Okay. So uh, instead of V and VB, I am now putting Na and uh, Nb. Okay. Uh, so this is what I can write. Okay. And uh, Na upon Na plus Nb is nothing but uh, chi A. That is the mole fraction. And similarly, N B upon N A plus N B is mole fraction of B. Okay, and I can substitute it here and get the formula in terms of mole fraction. So that is uh, equation number twelve. Okay, so minus R N A log of uh, chi A chi A is the mole fraction of A and N B log of chi B chi B is the mole fraction of B. And if I want to write this formula in terms of total number of moles, so I can write let's say small n is equal to N A plus N B. then we can also rewrite this equation you can easily rearrange this equation in this form you take n outside and then you rearrange so n or if you take outside this becomes na upon na plus nb okay na by n you take n outside so this becomes chi a log of chi a plus chi b log of chi b and this is the standard result that uh, you might have studied in your uh, chemistry uh, syllabus so here's the derivation this is the derivation for that uh, mole fraction entropy formula okay Now, uh, now it's pretty simple. Now I can simply use this formula for calculating our entropy change. If you do that, uh, okay. So delta S becomes what? See uh, here, the number of moles is point zero four four point zero four four. So total number of moles becomes point zero eight eight. That is my small n. R is as it is, and this mole fraction of uh, a gas a. Let us say this is half, half log half, and plus again this mole fraction is also half. So half log half. and you calculate this this comes out to be 0.507 joule per kelvin okay so that was my analysis for this problem i hope this video was informative and educational and uh, you learned something from this and this helped you prepare better for your uh, je advanced exam and if you did find this uh, video helpful please do give it a thumbs up and please share this video as much as possible with your friends through whatsapp telegram discord or whatever you medium other medium you might be using for networking with them and uh, most importantly if you not already subscribe to my channel please do subscribe to my channel because that's what keeps me motivated to do a new video every day uh, and uh, thanks a lot for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one and as always god bless you all thank you